Hi there, it's Carol C.C. Miller with Positive Focus, your positivity trainer and peace activator. I'm curious, I expect the answer is yes. Do you have someone in your life that is negative and is just, you say blue and they say purple and everything about it is in a disagreement? Now, I'm sure we all have people who are situationally negative because something's going on in their life and it's such a challenge that, you know, that they're really focused on what isn't working rather than what is. So I'm not really talking about them, but I'm talking about the people who are really steeped in fear. And that's all they talk about. That's all they post and share on, on social media. And that is their life, is their focus there. Now, wherever we focus, we're going to grow that. So your job is not to fix them. Uh, that is, that's their responsibility. However, some people think that they can't be quote unquote fixed or changed and I disagree with that I certainly believe that we should all mind our own energy and to remove ourselves from those toxic situations however every kind thought every kind word and every kind action has an impact on people now if you are so steeped in fear and you have a, a really strong armor suit on to protect yourself from anything that you don't believe in and if you believe the world is a bad place by being kind then of course you would have motivations behind your kindness it couldn't just be because you're a kind person so for those people know that your kindness does affect them it may be such a slight chink in their armor you don't get to see it and it may be days, weeks, months, or even years before that impact has really soaked into their soul. And that's okay. So don't go into that space of, oh, there's no hope for them. But also go into the space that you're not there to, to fix them or save them. You are here to be the best version of yourself. And the best version of yourself is what enhances people. It is what makes people feel better. It is what makes people want to do better in their own lives. So a quote that I use all the time, and I love it, on unconditional love. It's from Neil Donald Walsh. I love you, but if you continue this behavior, I'm going to leave the room. I love you, but if you continue this behavior, I'm going to leave the house. I love you, but if you continue this behavior, I'm going to leave your life. Love can be very unconditional. Whatever is going on, you can still send out love. Condition for me is my participation. I participate with people who inspire and uplift me and help those who want to be inspired and uplifted. But for those people who are still, for whatever reason, stuck in the space of fear, I just send them love. I do what I can from a distance because I am mindful of my own energy. And sometimes I can be far more loving to those people not participating in their lives rather than being in their lives and trying to get frustrated myself and wanting to fix them then. So I encourage you, what I do each night before I go to bed is I just think about all the people in my life, the ones who bring me great joy, and then the ones that I'm concerned for as well, and just send love. Love is what's going to enhance their lives. Love is certainly is what's going to enhance your life. So again, toxic people exist. We're not here to change them, but we are here to love them. So however you can be loving to them, do it. However you can be loving to yourself, if it's to stay in their life and be okay with it, do it. If it's to remove yourself so you can love them better from afar, do it. Do whatever brings you a little bit more happiness and joy and peace into your life. Because the more you're happy, the more you're joyful, the more you're peaceful, the more you're kind, the more you're loving, you are the ripple effect out to everyone around you and to everyone around them. So please make it a day of filling up with kindness for yourself and others, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you.